For the past month, we have brought you stories of people in the community dedicated to combating crime. It was a part of our initiative to find solutions, not just report on violence, but to find solutions to violence. That's right. Tonight, the story of a young man who knows loss all too well. And now, he's doing something to fight back. Then of your science, Jason Marks is here with Taking Back the Community. And Jason, the 18-year-old says, enough is enough. Tom, over the last month, we've asked you at home to email us for anyone who is making a difference. Now, we got several emails, including this one, which reads, My name is Juwan Moore. I'm 18 years old, and I grew up in the East End community. Over the last two years, I've lost four friends due to violence, and it's time for an end. Moore is now taking back his community. Death is coming. At some point, we will all end up here. People should prepare for it. But there are some deaths that happen too soon. When it becomes an act of violence, the reality hits them entirely different. It's a grave reality for employees at Green Lawn Memorial in Chesapeake. They're laying more and more victims to rest. We don't want to see those kinds of tragedies. In a Newport News Cemetery 25 miles away. You know, I would never thought that somebody I know would have died the way they died. That reality hits too close to home for 18-year-old Juwan Moore. It's heartbreaking. You know, I went to one of their funerals, and the cry of their mother just broke everybody's heart. Moore lost four friends in the past two years. Like an everyday thing, somebody's dying. This is only the second time he's been back at his friend's grave. 17-year-old Adonis Turner, who was shot and killed at his Hampton home after a knock on the door two years ago. It was like a nightmare, just having a whole a whole family at home um, and someone ring your doorbell and gun your child down. Chastity Turner still replays that nightmare over and over. The moment when Adonis took his last breath. The last words that my um, that Adonis said to me and it was basically mom and dad. I'm going home to where I belong. Comforting words for a mother. But it's not for a friend who can't rest easy. A mother shouldn't have to bury their child every other day. Moore has decided enough is enough. He started a group called Taking Back Our Youth and organized a youth rally next month to bring awareness to gun violence. Usually when you see these events, there are older people doing it. You don't really see a younger person stepping out and saying that it's time for a change. Moore doesn't want to see any other young people end up here. He believes if there are teens that won't listen to adults, maybe they'll listen to other teens. So the first step is we have to bring, their, bring it to their attention. The loss has to end up somewhere. And at the bottom of a giant hole isn't the answer. That would be a good deal. If, if the victims never ever had to come back through, that would be wonderful. Moore's event is planned for August 27th in Newport News. We put more information about it on Wavy.com. Now, this is the final chapter of a month-long initiative, Taking Back the Community. But Ten on Your Side isn't done looking for solutions to crime and will continue to profile people in the community trying to make a difference. Jason Marks, Ten on Your Side.